Chapter 13 Before the Passover celebration, Jesus knew that his hour had come to leave this world and return to his Father. He now showed the disciples the full extent of his love. It was time for supper, and the devil had already enticed Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to carry out his plan to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a the towel he had around him. When he came to Simon Peter, Peter said to him, Lord, why are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You don't understand now why I'm doing it. Someday you will. No, Peter protested. You will never wash my feet. Jesus replied, But if I don't wash you, you won't belong to me. Simon Peter exclaimed, Then wash my hands and head as well. Lord, not just my feet. Jesus replied, A person who has bathed all over does not need to wash except for the feet to be entirely clean. And you are clean, but that isn't true of everyone here. For Jesus knew who would betray him. That is what he meant when he said, Not all of you are clean. After washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, Do you understand what I was doing? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, because it is true. And since I, the Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. How true it is that a servant is not greater than the master, nor are messengers more important than the one who sends them. You know these things, now do them. That is the path of blessing. I am not saying these things to all of you. I know so well each one of you I chose. The scriptures declare, The one who shares my food has turned against me, and this will soon come true. I tell you this now, so that when it happens you will believe I am the Messiah. Truly, anyone who welcomes my messenger is welcoming me, and anyone who welcomes me is welcoming the Father who sent me. Now Jesus was in great anguish of spirit, and he exclaimed, The truth is, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at each other, wondering whom he could mean. One of Jesus' disciples, the one Jesus loved, was sitting next to Jesus at the table. Simon Peter motioned to him to ask who would do this terrible thing. Leaning toward Jesus, he asked, Lord, who is it? Jesus said, It is the one to whom I give the bread dipped in the sauce. And when he had dipped it, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas had eaten the bread, Satan entered into him. Then Jesus told him, Hurry, do it now. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant. Since Judas was their treasurer, some thought Jesus was telling him to go and pay for the food, or to give some money to the poor. So Judas left at once, going out into the night. As soon as Judas left the room, Jesus said, The time has come for me, the Son of Man, to enter into my glory, and God will receive glory because of all that happens to me, and God will bring me into my glory very soon. Dear children, how brief are these moments before I must go away and leave you. Then, though you search for me, you cannot come to me, just as I told the Jewish leaders. So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Simon Peter said, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus replied, You can't go with me now but you will follow me later. But why can't I come now, Lord? He asked. I am ready to die for you, Jesus answered. Die for me? No, before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even know me.